So the things that you will need are of course your wig, um, a wig head because that will make the process a whole lot easier. Say hello. <laughs> then you're going to need of course some rollers. Um, use whatever rollers that you want for the size of the curls that you want. But I want really big curls. Well, as you guys saw in the beginning clip, I wanted really big curls, so I got I got big rollers. So I got big rollers, extra big rollers for the back, and um, smaller size rollers for the front of the head, so it looks volu voluminous. You're also gonna need duck bill clips or any type of clips that you know work for you. And then I have a clip um, to keep the hair out of my way while I'm working a brush because you need to make sure that every strand that you curled is detangled to the best of its ability that's how you're gonna get smooth bouncy curls and then what is essential in this process it's super super essential is to have a steamer um, I got this steamer off of Amazon a really long time ago um, this is actually my mom's steamer. I have my own steamer, but I lost a nozzle. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Um, but I got this off of Amazon. I will leave a link to this particular or a similar steamer down below. Um, I've seen YouTube videos where they use like an industrial steamer. Um, girl, we don't got money. We don't got time for that. So we're going to just use our little steamer. It works just as well. And I have done this before. So I know for sure that, you know, this process will work. Um, so steamer and a plastic bag to cover the hair. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you from here. I hope this is a good enough angle. Okay. Don't mind my gut, you know. <laughs> I've been having a little bit too much to eat. Okay. So the first thing that you want to do is brush out the hair. So you want to be working on a smooth surface. Also, I figured out how to do this from YouTube as well. Um, I'll leave a link below of the video that I used um, to watch this video just to reiterate what I'm explaining if in case, you know, what I'm explaining doesn't make sense. But yeah. So you want to be working on a really smooth surface so you want to make sure that the hair is completely detangled um the reason why i'm curling this wig is because i don't know if you guys can see that but this wig sheds i don't know if you guys can see that but this wig oh my god it's beautiful but it sheds so much it just sheds like a mofo Um, then I'm going to take my curler and I think I'm going to divide this into two. I'm going to divide this into two, getting this as smooth as I can get it because these curls to bounce. I'm not even going to hold you. I feel like I want to cut these ends, but I'm not going to do all that because I'm going to get hair on my mama's floor and sometimes you swear you get it all and you don't. But anyway, so you're going to take your roller gonna go all the way down to the bottom but you wanna for me I like to keep the hair stretched so I get like every last strand and I get a really good curl curl the bottom and just roll it all the way up the hair all the way up the hair and if you had if you have um T-clips, those are really good, but I can't get my hands on those, so I use duck clips. And you just want to duck clip it to hold the hair in place. 
um, so I use two duck, duck clips on either end to hold the hair in place. Sometimes it comes loose, so I just gotta readjust the duck clips. <coughs> you kind of want to keep the roll up. I like to keep it as close to like the root, because the root of the wig. <coughs> I hope y'all can hear me. I hope I'm speaking loud enough, because I don't want to do a voiceover for this. Honestly. So smooth the hair again, and you're just going to repeat the same steps. Take your roller, roll it from all the way down at the end. Um, if you ever rolled natural hair, like real hair, <laughs> um, it's the same concept. You want to catch the, you want to catch, you want the hair to be rolled um, all the way through. That's how you get, you know voluminous really nice curl so stretch the hair get it smooth at the end on the roller and I'm getting kind of sick well it's springtime in New York City right now and just roll really you really want to honk and just roll the hair up oh my god stop honking And sometimes what I like to do any of this it's not perfect but the curls are still gonna come out great um you just want to continue this process throughout the so this is where we're at so far you want to make sure that your spacing is nice and even and that your curls are tight and as close to the root as possible. Oops, this one's kind of falling apart. And that's it. So I just gotta work on this side with the smaller rollers and then I'll come back to you guys when it's time for the steaming. Um, which I need to kind of get prepared to steam. So I gotta put the water in there and get it ready for steaming. But this is where we're at so far. I'm excited. I'm about to have uh, some voluminous, lovely curls. Okay, so we are completely done with the rollers. So it's for like the most important part so what you're gonna do is sorry for the noise cover the head with a plastic bag because that's really gonna hold the steam inside and really help to form your curls so you're gonna hold the plastic bag, put the plastic bag over the hair. Then you are going to take your steamer, which as you can see is already steaming, and place that inside of the bag and onto the hair. And what that's gonna do is, oh my god, melt the fibers, cause this is, synthetic hair so it's gonna really get those fibers to like melt and you 
want to get this to go all around the hair. I'm focusing on the back for right now. But you want this to... Oh, my God. All around the hair. is 3.53 so I'm gonna give this about an hour or two um, so I'll come back and let you guys know I'll show you the time again so you can see how long that I kept the hair in the bag but you want to keep it until the hair is fully dry um, I highly suggest that you do this uh, process overnight um, that'll probably be your best bet so that you know for sure that the hair is completely 100% dry um, but I have done this way I kept the hair drying for about um, like in the hot air drying for about three to four hours so I'm gonna try to do that again this time around just to make sure that we get like really great curls um, so I will see you guys back well for me it'll be two hours or three hours but for you it'll be like two seconds so we'll be back Okay, so the time right now is 5.37. Um, I think I left, I think we left off at around 3. So 3, 4, it's been two and a half hours maybe. Um, so I left the wig in this bag. I'm gonna try to place the wig back on the head. Honestly, the hair is not fully dry yet. It is not fully dry yet. So, what am I gonna do? Um, I think. I think I'm gonna blow dry it because I kind of want this to go by quickly um so I'll be right back <laughs> 